broadcasting or stop broadcasting, it shows, oh, there's an error. Thanks, because you didn't tell me that for like a, a minute and a half. Let's see if it actually does this correctly this time. Still shows me host, hosting Tanagasa. Come on. Ah, hey, here we go. Test one, two. Test one, two. Well, spank my ass and call me Shirley. It actually worked. Sometimes it, it'll do that um, where I have to start it over on, on, or I keep wanting to say hosting. For broadcasting, I have to start it over. Sometimes what it is, is if there's an update on PS4, um, if there's an update on PS4, like a, a game updated or whatever, um, I'll have to restart the PS4, which I actually did, so it shouldn't have had a problem, but I don't know. Whatever. It acted stupid. Okay. So, the quote-unquote mission thing that we're working on is we're working on Sharpshooter Level 17. <sighs> okay, so kill enemies with SNR or DMR while hip-firing. That's not a big deal at all. That's actually really easy. But the one that says, while detected, I have to kill two snipers. I wonder, um, while the, oops, detected, uh... Kill two snipers in eight seconds without getting hit. Um, oh wow! I don't. I can't. I'm, I did a search for it, and I don't even find it. Um, do I need to do breakpoint at the beginning of it? Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's somebody who says it's not counting for them or something. Let's see. No, that's... I think, I think it's probably just going to be a matter of finding a base that I can kind of go at and you know, kill some bad guys. Um, uh, oh, I gotta exit the bivouac first. I was like, why doesn't it let me fast travel? That's weird. And, oh yeah, that's right, because you can't be in bivouac and fast travel to another bivouac. So you have to come out of bivouac then do this and go back and go where you're going to go. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to go to here. Only because um, I kind of want to go to more of the starter zone areas. How's y'all's weekend been, by the way? How's your How's your How's your Thanksgiving? If you're here in the states, um, mine went well. Uh, pause for a moment. Um, with COVID and all that other kind of stuff, it was just me, my parents, because we're basically the same. Um, what you, how would you call it? Household, I guess, because they live right. I mean, literally, they live right down the street from me. I can look out. Actually, I can look at my camera, front camera and see their house. So it was me, my parents, and then we went to my sister's house with her family. So she's got five total in her family, so there's eight of us. That was it. Normally there'd be eight plus two plus four plus... I don't know. There'd probably be at least a dozen of us normally. But... Um, yeah, this time we just did uh, just the eight of us. And it was fine. It was great. It, here's the thing that was amazing to me, though, is that, you know, since I lost weight and stuff, I was like, I don't want to go nuts at Thanksgiving. 
and then like, oh great, now I'm, you know, I gotta lose another 10 pounds or something, whatever. But I got down to 200, but now I've been around like 203, like right now I think I'm probably about 203. Um, but the other day I was at 204 and a half. And I was like, oh, man, dang it, I, I wanna get back, I wanna get to where I'm at 100 or 195 to 200, like somewhere in that range. I don't wanna be at 200 to 204, or whatever. But I was at 204 and a half, and I was like, dang it. And I was like, well, okay, we're gonna do Thanksgiving. And then that evening, Thanksgiving, and I, and I mean, I had some turkey, I had some ham, I had some um, um, some barbecue, like baked beans, you know. Um, uh, my sister made this insanely good uh, uh, sweet potato, like casserole thing, like it has the crunchy thing on the top, and oh, it was just amazing. And I had some mashed potatoes with gravy. No, I just had like, you know, like, like that little piece of, you know, it was a very small amount. But I had that, I had a roll. I made, I ate, I ate my, I ate. I made my yeast rolls, which are, it's those little frozen balls about this big, and you let them proof. I let mine proof overnight. Um, and you bake them and they're just amazing. And so I made those. I had one of those. I had a, an ear of corn, um, yeah, an ear of corn, right? I mean, I ate, I ate really good. And that evening I was like, okay, I, I shouldn't weigh myself, but I'm gonna weigh myself. Now is it like, I think it was like 207, maybe 207 and a half. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, damn it. Overnight, I'm probably going to lose, you know, like you usually lose and gain pounds during the night. I thought, even if I'm down like to 205 in the morning, to lose another two pounds, I was like, I'm gonna, it's going to take me a week to get down two pounds again. It's like, Ugh. I got up in the morning, I was at 203. So, I guess because I did my walk that morning, well, I've been doing my walk every morning for the last however many months it's been now, um, skipping one day. I was skipping Thursdays before because that's when I was going into the office. But now that I'm going to the office every day, I basically just skip Sundays. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. I was back at 203. I was like, this is, this is great. And then this morning I was at 202 and a half. So I was like, okay. so. Apparently, being active and not eating like a crazy person normally, you're actually doing pretty, that's that's not bad. So I was very relieved uh, with regards to that. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was a uh, pretty uneventful Thanksgiving. Uh, good times. Um, I got to eat, you know, some regular Thanksgiving. I didn't go crazy or anything, but... I had a pretty good amount of turkey and a pretty good amount of ham, you know. Um, and like I said, I had the roll and I mean all that stuff. So, in other words, I got to enjoy Thanksgiving without going too crazy. So it was it was it was good. All right. Oh, there's a thing over here. Let's grab this thing. Mm, there it is. Now this doesn't do me much good for the um, uplink protocol thing, right? Oh, there's two guys right there. So yeah, this is how you do this. Oh, get down. Pro camel. To report here. Dang it, helicopter. Where's he at? The chopper took off. The air was clear. Okay. So here's how you do this the hip firing thing. Normally you go, well, how am I supposed to hip fire? Because in order to hip fire, I can't do this. I can't aim. Well, what you do is if you fire and hold the button down, now you got, now you got a deal. There we go. Now I just need three more enemies. Let's go grab Damage, this blue thing. Here. Let's go grab this stuff real quick. See, I got three more to go. Oh, 
Oh, hey, there's a chest over here. Hang on. It's a case, chest, chest, not chest, chest, case, whatever you want to call it. So funny because I go, if I was playing Assassin's Creed, this would be a lot easier to jump up here. But I have to say, the new Assassin's Creed, I, I like Breakpoint better. I mean, they're different games, of course, right? So there's that. But even still, I go, you know, I think I like Breakpoint better. Like, if you were to ask me, if you were to say, hey, James, what game do you feel like playing today? I'd go Breakpoint. I'm playing Breakpoint now, though, because I played Valhalla whenever it was the other day. Oh, looky here. I got three more bad guys to kill, and there's three bad guys over here. But for real though, that's it. That is where Shell lives. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Reload first. It's like nobody ever told this guy how to be rich. I'm just saying, no big house, cars, women. Nope. My man spent billions on factories. What's the enemy contact? I can't go. There we go. Good shooting, boss. Reload. So this one's pretty easy. To do the hip firing thing with a sniper is not really that difficult. It's pretty easy. Does Wild Detective kill two snipers in eight seconds? That one's going to be way more difficult. Um, Because, like, first of all, okay, first of all, I need to find a base that has a couple snipers. Uh... I don't know if that's going to have any bad guys. Well, I mean, it'll probably have some bad guys, but I need to find a place that's going to have um, some snipers. Um, fish processing center? Maybe? How far is that? Uh, not Well, it's not that far, but you know what? There's a motorcycle right here. I'm always kind of reticent to take the motorcycles, though, because the motorcycles are kind of get insane. Like, sometimes they're kind of fun, and sometimes they're kind of insane. Oops. And when it comes to trees and whatnot, the motorcycles can be downright annoying. At least it's a motor, a regular motorcycle and not one of the electric ones. Oh boy, this is not a good idea. Uh, the electric motorcycles are really gnarly. Like, they get really... They are really difficult to control. But the regular gas power ones, if you will, are not that bad. Oh, here we go. <coughs> But how did y'all's uh, how y'all Thanksgiving go? Did you uh, eat too much turkey? Just enough turkey? Not enough? Did you even celebrate? Because maybe you're not in the U.S. Um, uh, and if you're not in the U.S., then you know what'd you do over the? I mean, I don't know. Do you guys? How does that work? Like in the U.K., obviously they don't celebrate. Oops, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving, right? So. Do you even have time off, I wonder? Here you go. Go, I'll catch up. I guess the, I guess you don't even get time off, right? I guess that's how that works. Hey, hey nothing. Okay. I need to find some snipers. See, this is the problem, is I gotta do it within eight seconds. And I have to be, they have to see me. Okay, see, there's a sniper. Nope, that's not a sniper. Oh yeah, it is, that's a sniper. Right, okay. Oh, hang on a second. So, 
my my sister's girls she has three girls well one of them's still pretty young and she doesn't she's like uh nine i think now and i don't think she's been watching any she's not a fan of star wars stuff but the other two girls star wars nuts i texted them the other day and i was like oh my god did you guys see the latest episode of the mandalorian it was amazing and my 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 sister's oldest girl she's actually gonna be 21 in january it's insane but I was telling her, I said, yeah, I guess now I'm going to have to go back and watch Clone Wars and Rebels because I've never watched those cartoon series, you know. And she's like, oh my gosh, you need to watch those. I was like, well, okay, fine. Um, so she's texting me now. Let's see. And, and also, she's a big comic book nerd, which I think is awesome. She's telling me that uh, uh, she hasn't read Kingdom Come. I'm like, oh my god, you haven't read Kingdom Come? How much is that one? I might just get it for her anyway. Oh, it's only 15 bucks. Have I read? I know I've read, I'm pretty sure I've read Kingdom Come before, right? That Alex Ross art is really amazing. Yeah, those my sister's girls are awesome. They're just the coolest girls in the world. And yeah, her youngest is not uh, into Star Wars really. She's more into like she's, she's been into Roblox and what's the thing? Oh, she likes um, uh, the Lego Ninja. N N N N what is it? Ninjago? I forget. She likes that stuff a lot. But uh, I think I got them. Not that they're gonna watch this, but I don't want to say exactly what I got them. But I think I got so my sister. So this, these, these are the kids I have to buy for. My sister has the three girls, and they're, like I say, the oldest is gonna be 21. Um, the middle child, she's 14. I think she's 14. Because the idea, I, I remember. It seems like this year, I said something about, oh my gosh, she's gonna be driving in two years. She's either 14 or 15. And then the youngest is nine. So those three, and then my niece, my, not, not one of these nieces, but my other niece, um, she has a boy and a girl. This is my niece who is my, my half sister. It's my half sister's daughter, right? So my half sister is the oldest sibling and I'm the youngest sibling. So we're the furthest apart in age. But because of that, my eldest sister has had a daughter just before I was born. So, so my niece, my eldest niece, is actually a, a few months older than I am, which is which I always tease her about. I'm like, ha ha, you know, you turned 49 this year. Hey, hey I don't turn 49 till May, you know. Uh, you're old, ha ha. Um, but anyway, so she's got two kids. One who is going to be 21 next May, and then the other one is he's um. 14. Yeah, he's 14 as well. Yeah, so then that means my sister's middle girl is 15, I think. Anyway, um, but so I've got those five kids to buy for. All of them are Star Wars nerds, except for my sister's um, youngest, I think. Um, but I think I got them all something really, really Star Wars related that they're all going to really love. And they're all... Because here's the thing, too. Like, I like to get them all stuff that... Uh,
I'll be Is the watching order Clone Wars and then Rebels, right? And wait, wasn't there a. Oops. And wasn't there a Clone Wars animated movie as well? Yeah, she. Lo she it's funny because my sister's oldest girl, she loves like she like she liked the prequels and she or I think she liked the prequel prequels and I know she liked the sequels and I, I the prequels I kind of I don't want to say I hated them but they were like ugh this is kind of dumb and the sequels it's funny the very first sequel was pretty good Star Wars sequel episode 7 yeah 7 8 and 9 so 7 was okay 8 wasn't great and 9 was really bad um so she liked him pretty well, though. I haven't had a Red Bull in forever, but this one is sugar-free. It's only 10 calories. Um, it's funny, I've got a bunch of these Red Bulls in my fridge, but they're the regular sugary kind. I keep telling my buddy Richard, I'm like, hey, dude, you need to go and buy a bunch of Red Bull sugar-free, and I'll trade you. Because I can't, I'm not, I can't do the, I can't do the regular sugary Red Bulls. Those things are way crazy sugary. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so I'm, I'm asking my niece right now. Oh, let's see. I've heard that. But the later episodes, ep, not episodes, the later seasons are supposed to be pretty good. Can't wait to get to uh, uh can't wait to get to They're like my favorite characters now. So, yeah, um, it's funny because so Ashoka Tano and Bo Katan. And Bo Katan sounds like a retirement home in, in Florida, by the way. Oh, uh, okay. You think I should watch the animated? Movie and then the show, then Rebels. A eh? yeah, um, I haven't watched any of that stuff, but I've heard Clone Wars is really good. Although I kind of hated all the Clone Wars stuff. I mean, don't 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 get mad at me, but I kind of hated the the prequel Clone Wars stuff. Some of that was like. I don't know it's like okay now the rebels have their own clone troopers and they're basically good guy stormtroopers like it seems kind of doofusy and i don't know i never i never understood i never i kind of never could get used to the idea of like oh yoda is a general okay whatever all right but um yeah so yeah, my niece is saying the animated movie takes place before the Clone Wars. She watched Clone Wars, then Rebels. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. Clone Wars and then Rebels.
Um, but I'm excited to watch the shows because of the two characters in Mandalorian. That's same. Okay, so she says, that's what I think. I didn't watch the animated movie until maybe season two. Ah, okay. Ah, gotcha. Cool. I'll watch them in that order then. I'm so excited for Mandalorian that I bought the Thrawn trilogy uh, on Apple Books. Can't wait to read that again. Um, yeah, so I, I wasn't crazy about Clone War stuff. I don't know. Something about it was just kind of... I don't know. It always just seemed kind of... Like in Mandalorian, they'll make references to, to Yoda or I, I don't know, you know, whomever. And that makes sense and it's cool and it feels organic. But in Clone Wars, it felt like... I don't know. It was just like, eh, eh, look, see, eh, like, look, look, here's the cup that uh, Jabba the Hutt used, huh, huh? And you're like, well, that doesn't really, like, who cares, you know? Anyway, but yeah, it's really cool to, to, to be able to talk to my nieces and stuff and be like, oh my gosh, Mandalorian was amazing and you know, be excited about it because I wasn't excited for the movies, I have to admit. Uh, all right, let's see if I can find another sniper. Okay, no sniper over there. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's two snipers right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. But I have to not get hit. Uh, okay, that one's pretty easy to hit right there. You know what I just realized? Hang on, get down. I have an idea. It doesn't say. Well, wait a minute. It doesn't even have to. Say... It doesn't even say that I have to shoot them. Moving to acquire. All I have to do is kill them. Standing by to fire. Roger. Moving in. So here we go. Pause it now. That. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta find an image of Thrawn. Uh, yeah. Let's use that one. It's so cool, like, I mean, like I say, my nieces are the coolest, and, and they're just, they're, they're just, I think kids in general are cool, like, like teenagers and stuff are just cool because you have such, I, I, I mean, I don't know about everybody else, I mean, of course, it depends on the teenager, but I find that, like, kids, I have such faith that everything's going to be okay. These kids are going to do fine. They're going to do just fine. They're going to get their shit together if they don't have it already. Um, and they're going to do just fine. Everything's going to be fine. I feel like the future is bright for these kids because they they want it to be right, bright for themselves. You know, They choose. They're going to choose to have everything be okay. Um... But like I say, especially with my nieces, that's kind of the thing. Alright, come on, dude. I want you to see me. 
Oh wait, but I don't have to... Oh wait, actually, hang on. Well done. It didn't count. Open it up, boss. It just said kill two snipers. Dang it. Well, that didn't work. Um, it says, while detected, kill two snipers in eight seconds. Well, I did. But it didn't count. Hmm. Well, this sucks now because I don't have another two snipers here. So apparently... See, it doesn't say shoot them, it just says kill them. But I guess when they say, in this case, when they say kill them, I guess they do mean that, hey, you yourself, you have to kill them. All right, let's go down to this packing center place thingy here. Uh, yeah, it's over this way. I was thinking, oh, this is going to work perfectly. I'll just take them out with my, my, uh, my teammates, and that'll be that. Nope, didn't count. But yeah, I mean, when I interact with my nieces and stuff, it's always just so cool because I don't even—I don't have any kids of my own, so I'm—I can't help but go. They're gonna do awesome. They're gonna be—they're gonna be just fine. They're gonna do really well, and they're gonna be fine. Let's have them stop running. Mmm, termites, yummy. What's this over here, by the way? I'll grab whatever this is. Oh, it's just a little plant thing. Winter still. I think that's what. I think you use that for making um, the thingies. The um, oh, gold nugget. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. That means whatever this other thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's honey. Well, yeah, that's cool too. Um, what was I saying? It's just cool to see. It's cool to see them get interested in stuff, and especially my eldest niece getting into comics. I don't know if my sister's middle girl is into comics that much. I think she might be a little bit... See, what is this? So my niece is bringing up the point that uh, Ashley Eckstein, 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 uh, does the voice. Um, she does the voice for the the cartoon character on the uh, on the rebels show thing but um, doesn't look anything like the character um, Rosario Dawson looks just perfect absolutely perfect um, the other girl uh, now see I hate this kind of a, a headline it says Ashley Eckstein Eckstein speaks out on Rosario Dawson's Ashoka live-action casting in The Mandalorian. Don't put it like that. Don't put it like, oh, she speaks out. No, I'm sure she says, hey, she did great. Don't make it a thing. Don't try to make it into a thing. Don't do that. Like, stop that. Um, she said, uh... 
She said, I'm not involved in The Mandalorian. I can't answer questions for something I'm not a part of. Uh... Uh, it's been my dream for 14 years to continue to play in all form and, and to play Ashoka Tano in all forms. I will continue to be grateful for, for opportunities. Um, yeah, so she's basically saying, hey, I don't have anything to do with that. She's the voice actress. That's it. Which to me, that's kind of that thing of like, fans need to stop thinking that either the fan person, like say I'm a fan of Star Wars, I don't get a say in who plays the next characters in Star Wars. That's not how that works. And neither do the actors, you know? I mean, I remember Mark Hamill wasn't exactly a fan of his role as Luke Skywalker in episode nine or eight. I think it was eight, actually. He was like, yeah, he wasn't too crazy about it. But then he also said later, he was like, but you know what? That ain't my decision. I don't own the character, you know, yeah, he's brought him to life, and he's, you know, he is the character or whatever, but he doesn't have a say. He's not the writer. Um, I think he might be able to have some input, maybe, but that's about it. Um, and it is disappointing when the characters are not how we think of them or perceive them or whatever, and that, that sucks, you know, like, ah, I kind of wish the character had been something else. But yeah, at the end of the day, you go, it's not really up to the actor. It's not it's certainly not up to the fans. All right, let's see if we can find a couple snipers in here. I'm sure we can. Uh, there's one. It's so funny, the guy's like, oh, sorry, I'm kind of upset. You know, I, I haven't been paid any overtime. Or whatever, I love that. They have these calm traffic like that. It's really funny. All right, there's one sniper. The thing about snipers is that they are pretty perfectly placed for taking out. You know. Um, How long we gotta stay out here? There's nothing. Any idea who they're rolling around? But I don't think there's a second sniper around here. Yeah, I don't think there's a second, because usually the sniper's going to be up on top of the buildings. So I don't think we're going to have a second sniper up here anywhere. And of course, here's the thing too. It says kill two snipers. It doesn't say how to kill them. It doesn't say shoot. It doesn't say headshot or anything like that. It just says kill. So theoretically, you could hit them with shit. like uh, explosion, explosive or something. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip this area because I don't I don't see but one sniper. So let's go to this area next. So let's go over this way. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, hang on. Not that it matters if one of those bad guys saw me. I mean, I could take him out pretty easily, but still. I look at it like when you're playing this game, there's a lot of parts that you don't really have to mess with. But sometimes it's fun to mess with because you go, well, that makes it like you're... like, Not that the game is real, but it just makes it... You know, it's more immersive of an experience. There you go. I like this too, watch what's gonna happen. My teammates in a second are gonna go, hey, you need to drink some water, man. You need to hydrate. Watch, watch. See my, my thing at the bottom there is going lower. That means... Drinking water. Oh, nope, cancel. So let's switch to the water canteen. Damn, dude, are you okay? Not really. All this recent drone activity makes me a little unsteady. And I can go over here and refill my water canteen. Because I'm sure this water is completely safe, right? It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
There's not weird worms in that water or anything. It's totally yeah, fine. I guess we just have to buck up and suffer through it. <gasps> what a pain in the ass. Okay, let's go over here. Normally I would say, you need to look both ways, but I, I'm looking at the mini-map and there wasn't any traffic coming. <laughs> Same thing with the train tracks, because you can get run over by a train. Like, and it's kind of hilarious, but it's also kind of a pain in the butt, because you can't, like, your buddies, your teammates can't ra raise you from the dead. They can't, they can't help you. You're just toast. You're MIA. No, not MIA, KIA. Uh, you're killed in action. There we go. There it is. I like picking up that stuff because it's got like the launcher and stuff like that in it. But unfortunately, I can't use it like the new class is able to use it. Alright, I think it'd be okay if I go up this hill. Right? Let's go over here. Oop, let's grab these things here. Okay, let's get down low here. Drone up. So we're looking at top of the buildings here. Nope, no sniper, no sniper. What? What is he saying? What is he talking about? Okay. Uh, to report over here. On my side. Nothing happening. Yeah. Nothing out here. Why you do anything if you did find someone? These guys are so salty, aren't they? I don't think there's any snipers here either cuz they would be up. I love the, the, the bit of comm traffic that these... Yeah, there's no, there's no snipers here. So let's, let's move on. I love the comm traffic. It's kind of hilarious. It's kind of awesome the way they do it. Okay, let's see. Uh... Well, the testing zone, well, let's go to the testing zone next. I mean, it's fairly close by, so let's go check it out. I kind of don't want to do the testing zone because the testing zone, um, I'm positive that there's going to be snipers there, but it's a difficult area because there's going to be a drone. There's going to be at least one of the go-kart drones. Or the baby behemoths, as I sometimes call them also. There's going to be at least one of those. But there's a lot of walls and there's a lot of, like, a lot of areas for the bad guys to hide. Which can be difficult. Go grab that gold item. It's not gonna be better than what I already have, but it'll be good, good, good money for it. Yeah, it's a DMR. Enemy chopper in the AO. Get down. Get down. Pro camel. Okay. Boom! Headshots. Oh, here's the other tactical little package thing. So it doesn't do, it does do a little bit of good in that you can get, sometimes get a weapon and whatnot, but uh, it mostly gives advantage to the new class, which I forget the name of the class now. All right, so now there's the area that I'm going at, right? Let's see. 
and you run up over here. I'm not going to fire from here. I just want to do some recon from here. But the problem is, you know, there's a bunch of high walls, right? So that's a bit of a problem. But actually, I could probably... I love that these guys talk about the generator and kind of basically tell you... Yeah. They describe their... They're describing their own defenses. Alright, that's only one sniper. I'm not seeing any other ones. I'm I'm finding a bunch of the bad guys, but I'm not... I'm not seeing any snipers. Uh, two bad guys there. Oh, there's two more bad guys. Okay. Yeah, I think there's only one sniper here, so I'm not gonna. It's quite the shit over there. No, there's only one sniper, so that's not gonna work. I need two snipers, and there's only one right here. So, all right. Um. What's the next area I can check out? Uh, well, let's go to these residences next. Oh, and there's a motorcycle right here. Right over there. Because we're going to want a motorcycle. Otherwise, it's going to be a long walk. It's uh, one kilometer. Okay, so let's grab this motorcycle. Reload. Reloading. Drones. drones. They're gonna put this thing on drones. Hey guys, how's it going? I need to borrow your motorcycle. The ghosts are doing everything they can to stop it. And what were we? What were our lives? Part of a test run? Looks like that's all we are to these bastards. No. My life will not be a test run for genocide. I'm gonna demand Schultz calls a meeting the second that he comes in on me. Okay, and again, this is not one of the electric bikes, so it's not as squirrely. Oh, watch out for rocks. This is actually a fairly slow motorcycle, really. Hey, there's where I'm going. Whoa, whoa. Erk. I don't think there's going to be snipers here. Okay, let's put the drone out. We got two civilians there. I tell you, I love these little apartment places, those, these little homes. Oh, there's a sniper. There's one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got zero activity on my side as well. Bunch of bad guys there. Bad guy. Now I got no one to talk to about the thoughts in my head. Yeah, why don't you write a book or something? I don't want to hear it. Damn. Uh, oh, there's one of those motorcycles, one of those electric motorcycles. They look really cool, but they are so squirrely to drive. I've had it with this shit. We're not going to find anything. Come on, just keep looking. So I've only got one sniper here as well, it looks like. Yeah, I don't have more. I, I just got one sniper, so that's not going to work. All right, let's try another area. Uh... I don't want to go down here because I don't. I think this is going to be too large of an area. But there's there definitely should be snipers there though. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I could get, grab my motorcycle. It's 
not like it's out of fuel. As far as I know, your vehicles never run out of fuel. We'll find you. Okay. Uh... Now the problem with this area is that I probably won't find snipers that are close together. I mean, in other words, I'll have to get to a uh, an area where I can see, like, say there's a sniper here. Like, say you're looking at the map face down. If there's a sniper here and a sniper here, well, I don't want to be here. I want to be, like, in line with them so I can more easily take them out um, in the eight seconds required. Okay, there's a sniper. Those are not snipers. Uh... Look at this big, huge building here. I think it's cool looking. Uh, there's probably not a way to get up on top of the roof either unless you parachute down. Couple bad guys there. Fine. Okay. Uh... <laughs> These areas here, it, it looks like a resort or something. It's amazing. There's a bad guy. I need to find snipers. Ooh, there's a sniper. Okay, we got two snipers. These guys are hilarious. I love it. Alright, unfortunately, these snipers are way far apart. Like, even if I get, get them lined up, they're really, really far apart. Um, I mean, my gosh, they're on the opposite side of each other here. Two bad guys there. Are there no other snipers close by? No. Drone. Mm, crap, Ola, man. Oh, that's a flyer drone. I thought it was a. Yeah, a couple flyers. I thought it was one of the um, ground ones, I was going to say. He looks really small. I've had stupid jobs before. This shit. There's also there's different classes of the the, the little go kart looking drones. There's different classes of them. There's some that are like fairly low powered, and then other ones that are fairly high powered. And some of them that carry some of them carry automatic like guns, and then some of them carry uh, mortars. I think some of them carry both. But some of them, and the same thing with the flyers. There's some of them that all they do is see you, and that's it. Then some of them see you and they have like pew pew type guns. And then some of them will see you and they have like automatic, like bigger guns. And those are obviously bigger threats. Um. Well, I might have to skip this area too because. Because here's the thing, even if I can get lined up with these guys, I don't know if I can take them both out. I mean, like, like say I get even right up on this dude here. Say if I get, shoot, see that's the thing is I'd need to get like over here. Let's put a beacon right there. All right, where's the beacon now from where I'm at here? Okay, 400 meters that way. Let's get on this bike again. Come on. Take the right. I'll find my own. Get back up a bit. Oops. Oh, almost thought I was gonna hit there. Uh, no, I can't go up to the right, can I? <laughs> that was close. He probably should have saw me. Come on, get up there. There we go. All right, now. So here's the thing. It's going to be like 200 meters just to hit the first guy. 
the second guy might be a couple hundred meters beyond that. So it's going to be kind of hard to hit him. So there's the one dude, right? I don't know if this is even... I'm hoping this takes me up, right? Well, like... Okay, so I can get on top of this car. So that gives me good sight line for this guy. No problem. Oh, hang on. Getting in position. You take well. Moving to position. Ready, boss. Oh, there's four dudes here. Oh, interesting. Roger, getting in position. Let's deselect that guy. Here we go. This would be fun. So I have three teammates. A, B, C, D. We got him. Took them all out. Rock and roll. See? Rock and roll. It's very cool that you can do that. I mean, before they added the teammates back in, grab that. Before they added the teammates back in, you had a sync shot drone, and that was how you could sync shot. But I like the way they, I'm, I'm glad that they added the teammates back in because it's something really cool about having your teammates. First of all, the, just the chatter from your teammates is really fun. Um, and the way you can set them up and all that kind of stuff is really cool. I haven't tried though, because you do still have your sync shot, sync shot drones, but I haven't really messed with that. Um, I haven't really seen if you can do like sync shot drones as well as your your teammates I haven't really checked with that yet yeah, see this is gonna be way too far all right so this isn't a viable option either um, let's go to this Antares 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 whatever district thing all right we need a car let's go grab a car or a motorcycle Let's grab whatever these things are. Yoink. Yoink. Yeah, I think uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will probably grow on me after, as, as I play it more. Because right now, it's still so new to me that it's hard for me to get used to some of the controls and everything. Really? No, it's not game on. Hang on, I saw a thing. I'm checking my deal. The HVT is making a break for it. The HVT that they're talking about is the guy with the money. Every time he sees. There's an aerial drone. There we go. Ooh, hang on, there's a car here. These little cars here are really fun. So this I mostly want to use just to get away from all these bad guys, but also because it's fun. Plus where I'm going is like a kilometer away, so... Watch out for trees. Oh! Some of the smaller trees, you don't have to, like that one there, probably could have ran up through. Oops. Alright, let's get out. Ah, shoot. Reload. I don't think there's going to be snipers here. Usually it has to be a somewhat large installation for there to be snipers. Um... There's the dude with the, that will tell on you, right? Okay, there's a dude there. Yeah, I don't see any snipers here. <sighs> um, okay, well, you know what? There's definitely going to be some bad guys here. I mean, not bad guys here, but, you know. Um, 
snipers. Where's... Oh, there it is right there. I was about to say, where, I'm like, where's my marker at? Uh, so yeah, by about 6.30, I'm going to jump off here. If not, maybe around 6 even. Because uh, me and a couple friends are going to play some PS4 games. We, uh, we've we been playing, last couple weekends, we've been playing um, Overcooked 2. You guys, that game, if you don't have it already, and you've got a couple friends with whom you like doing multiplayer type games, like especially co-op type stuff, Oh my god, that, do yourself a favor and pick that game up. If you can, pick it up on sale, though. We, uh, Me and uh, my one friend Claire, uh, Richard already had it, but Claire and I didn't have it. We picked up that game for, I think it was like 15 bucks for both of us. Or not for both of us, but it was on sale. That game is nuts how good it is. It is absolutely nuts. Uh, so much fun, and so silly and cute, and... My gosh, there's 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 zombie bread, you guys. Come on, you can't do better than zombie bread. And it's called the unbread, cause it's like undead, but it's bread. Come on, it's the best. Oh, hang on. Damn it. All right, hang on. Yeah, I know. So here's a problem. Got one over there. We got a sniper there. Ground drone, ground drone. There's another sniper there. Wolf in sight. Okay, I've already vanished, so that's good. Oh, wait, there's another sniper right here. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so while detected, problem is this guy. Oh, really? Come on. Sniper ready to fire. Open up. Got a wolf. Dang it! They shot one of the guy, the snipers. Dang it! My fault for letting myself be seen, but still. Incoming motor. Grab his shield, whatever he had there. for a moment. We shift. Yeah, that um, Overcooked 2 game is nuts. It's so much fun. It's so... You, you play these little monitos and you have like little characters you can choose and you're basically working together to provide food for people. That's for customers. I mean, they try to put a plot around it but it's, it's a silly little dumb plot but it works really well. The idea is that you're trying to fight the unbred, and so you have, like, zombie pieces of bread walking around, but you don't actually fight those or anything. It's basically you're just running a restaurant and trying to get orders out. With the idea that somehow, by completing orders, that fights the unbred. It's kind of one of those things where you're like, who even cares? It doesn't matter. Because it's a lot of fun. All right. Okay. 
All right. There's a sniper getting ready. Oh, there's a sniper. Okay. Sniper lining up a shot. That's good. Because that means there's a sniper over there. Hmm. See, I need to be able to line up my shot so I can hit both of these guys, right? Because there's one there. The other one's way over there. And there's one there. But I have to get into this place. You know what would be helpful? What would be helpful is if... If I had somebody to play with, and I could be on a helicopter. I got eyes on a wolf. All right, so if I come up in here, that guy spotted. Actually, I could probably get up even just on this bridge, and maybe have a shot at those two guys. I think. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh god, they killed everyone. Engaging. Crap, these guys are coming up right where I'm at. Shit. Sniper set to fire. The sniper getting ready. Uh -huh. So this is great for shooting bad guys. Like it's great for that, but I want to take out these snipers. So there's one there. The problem is trying to hit the snipers without getting hit myself, because that's part of the, the thing here. Just in case. Now we got a sniper there. We do sort of kind of have a shot at him. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. That didn't count. Damn it. I hate when the guys, when these bad guys, basically they hide behind their stupid little, like they're in their things and it's, it's the freaking deal is in the way. So now I gotta get out of here and go find another place that's got some snipers. Let's get in this car. Take that, you jerk. <laughs> You're all mine. Whatever, dude. Alright, let's see where we're going to go next, because that crap didn't work. Alright. How about Vega Residence? Let's go there. Just drop the wolf. That would have been perfect, but the problem is trying to get into the facility without being seen until you're in position. 
Because you're supposed to be seen, right? Like, that's part of the thing, right? Okay. But you gotta be in, in the correct position before you let them see you. See, that's a sniper. That's how you do whenever you can't get a beat on them. With your weapon, you can just do that. Alright, so I've already been seen, which is a problem. That could work to our advantage, but that's only if there's snipers here. And I had one sniper, but I already shot him because I kind of had to. I'm not going to find a sniper here. There, the there's, there's not that many bad guys here to begin with, and I haven't even found a and single sniper. Let's get out of here. This ain't going to work. Also, I think I'm going to have to bivouac... Um, uh, dang it. I'm probably going to need to bivouac as well so I can have it be daytime. Get out of here. Jesus! They've destroyed us! Find them! Good one. I was going to grab this case, but where's it at? Oh, here we go. Like I say, most of these cases, unless it's got like a blue symbol on it, whether it's the dollar sign thing or whatever, most of these cases aren't going to have really anything I can use. Um, Let's get in the car. No, not passenger. No, no. Drive. Alright, let's get out of here. And I think what I'll do is I'll go to a bivouac close by where some of the bad guys are or whatever, and then uh, go that way. Like, and, and go and reappear when it's daytime. Because I've got it set to, like, darkest night, which is great, but not when I'm trying to, like, find bad guys to shoot and everything. Alright, now. Let's go bivouac. Let's go right here. There we go. We'll do this one. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and deploy bivouac. Just because, well, first of all, we want to go ahead and refill ammo and stuff. Like, sure, why not? But also, I want to um, change the time of day that we go out here. Let's go ahead and go to the shop while we're at it. Sell all this equipment that we don't need. And then sell the weapons that we don't need. So anything without a heart, we're going to get rid of, because that's the stuff that we favorited, right? So yeah, even, even actually that one right there, look, it's 350. So it's like, okay, well, that's pretty cool. That one's 450, wow. 
So you go, yeah, even though some of those I couldn't really use, it, they're worth quite a bit of money. So that works. All right, and I don't need any of this. We're good on that. But this, we're gonna buy this. Oh, look at that, we only have room, we only have enough money for one. Oh well, fine. All right, so now let's um, break camp. And we're gonna break camp at 0541. You know what I found that's funny though, is that like when you talk about 0700 hours, right? You, that means 7 a.m., right, in military time. Or 0800 hours, right? The thing I was thinking about the other day, and I don't know why I never really thought about this, but O is not a number. O is a letter, as in the letter O, L-M-N-O-P. O is not a number. So really you should be saying 0700 or 0800 or whatever. I never really thought about that until the other day and I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. That's not right. Very strange. All right. Um, Maybe there's some bad guys here. Or, like I say, it's not even trying to find bad guys. It's trying to find snipers. God, look at how amazing this looks, though. Hang on. Let's do this real quick. Watch. Look at this. I mean, come on. And then you got a little bit of fog right there. All right, let's see if we can't get under the fog. Look at that. This game is amazing. I mean, it's it reminds me of how Witcher is. That, you know, it's like this horrible violence and suffering and all this kind of stuff. But then you go, wow, look at how beautiful it looks, though. It's weird. Alright, I don't think there's going to be two snipers over here, but you never know. I just need to be able to line up on two snipers, that's all. But the problem is... I mean, the idea about having snipers for these bad guys is that they're not placed right next to each other. Like, of course not, because they're meant to be defense. So you wouldn't put them right next to each other. So we got a bunch of bad guys, but no snipers so far. Ooh, there's one. Not gonna lie, these new attacks got me shook. There's no way it's just outcasts. I swear, even civilians are getting squirrely, bro. They're not just protesting anymore either. We've we're talking here for on sabotage. We're not gonna find shit. The other day, okay, we got one sniper, but I don't think we're gonna have two. In her house. This bitch waves to me every day on her way to work, bro. Bet she didn't have shit to say either. Why is he saying bro? Bro? A new sniper trained at Crown Gracie's. He's a solid brown man. This should be fun. Should have been another bad guy right there. Oh, he almost saw my drone. Yeah, I've only got one sniper here. Yeah, so I don't have... Why am I not finding... Seen what the drone teams have been working on? There's no bad guy. Yeah, there's only one sniper dude here. So let's see. Let's find another place here. Uh, I don't remember this orchard place. Let's go and check it out. Maybe there's maybe there's snipers there. It's like probability of snipers is is good. For most every place I go to, but the probability of two snipers and for those snipers to be somewhat close together, not very good chances of that at all. At one place there was three snipers, but they were way far apart. Or no, there was four, but they were way far apart. And I let myself get seen way too early. So that didn't work out too well. Catch your breath, dude. Catch your breath. I hate hearing him breathing like that because it makes me think of when I do my walk slash jog every day. 
that's how I get. I can jog for about a quarter of a mile now without stopping, which is unprecedented for me. I don't think I've ever been able to jump, run that far. Well, jog, not run, jog. But even still, it's like, yeah, I start breathing hard like that. Okay, I see a dude already right there, but I don't think he's a sniper. If I'm going to find proper snipers, they need to be up on top of these buildings. Because then all I have to do is get on top of one of these buildings myself and take them out. Okay, he said sniper, so there's a sniper somewhere here. Most of all these guys are riflemen, and not Chuck Connor riflemen, but riflemen. Oh, there's a sniper. Okay, there's one. Is there a second sniper at all? I think all these other guys are just going to be regular dudes. There's another dude over here, but I think that's the only other guy. Yeah, I don't, okay. This ain't gonna work either. There's one sniper, but that's, I need two. All right, there's gotta be. Ooh, there's stuff up here I didn't get before either. This isn't gonna be anything that I don't already have, but I'm definitely gonna get some stuff over here. Like it's not gonna be any special equipment, but it'll be stuff to get anyway. Oop, here goes uh, another little thing here. A little tactical thingy. Assault rifle parts, cool. And the uplink protocol, which I can say, that's for the other, um, uh, that's for the other class. Now this is an actual camp, so I'm sure there's at least a couple of snipers. In fact, let's go here. So obviously that's uh, a problem. Okay, there's a sniper. I think there might be a second sniper right here. Is there? No. Auto turret, heads up. We could get control of it. Yeah, but that doesn't help us much. Dang it! I don't think there's but one sniper here. Lots of bad guys and lots of uh, wolf dudes. See, wolf riflemen. Those are elite, so those are a little bit tougher. But that's not a sniper. Yeah, see, there's another rifleman. These are just, I mean, they're elites. So they're they're tougher, but that's not a, a, a I want a sniper though. Dang it, I think that's the only sniper we're gonna have here as well. And that's a commander, right? But that doesn't help either. Still not a sniper. That's not a sniper. Well, I think this is not gonna work either. Because we got a lot of wolves, which is cool. I mean, you know, that's that can be challenging and fun and all that, but that's still not what we're looking for. Let's check Viper Foxtrot. I'm going to have to take somewhat the long way here. Can't cut directly across. Because obviously then we'll go into their thing there and we don't want to.
Again, the roads you kind of want to stay steer clear of if you can, but uh, just because, see, look, see, there's bad guys. Uh, oh, that had been perfect if there were snipers up there, but there's not. Oop, there's a thing here. Again, these little deals here, um, two tactical crates, don't do me much good for my class, but I got 400 crates for it. And usually there's other stuff too. So that's helpful. Copy, boss. Moving. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Oh, that was close. Find, fix, or forget. Got him. Got him. Reload. Grab all this stuff if there's anything to grab. Yoink, 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 yoink. Yeah, that'd been perfect if there was a couple snipers up there, wouldn't it? Especially if it was only two snipers, that'd been perfect. All right. Oh, there's another tactical thing over here. Tactical crate right here. Oop, oh, there's. Yeah. Ooh, there's a gun in there. That's cool. Which again, I, it's not better than what I already have, but I can sell it. All right. So we got a sniper there. Excellent. Do we have a second sniper? Probably not. Yeah, that's it. There's just two a couple of dudes here. Dang it. There's one sniper at least. Ooh, if one of these guys is a sniper, that'd be helpful. No. Bravo squad is waiting on us to back them up. I need a quiet. No sniper there either. Really? Should this be this hard to find freaking snipers? All right, this conference hall, whatever place here, that's a huge facility. There should be snipers there, right? I wouldn't have bothered with these guys, but they've got a car here that I want to take. So, Also, there's a case here. Again, not better than what I have as far as weapons go, but uh, I can sell it. I like these little trucks here. These trucks are kind of cool. And again, my ladies will just appear in the car, so no worries. Like, again, you don't have to worry about waiting to pick them up. I kind of want to, there's to my left there on the mini map is a plane. The planes are really fun and squirrely. Are, and they're they're fun to fly, but we're not here to fart around with an airplane. I'm here to find some snipers. Mm, come on, bunch of bad guys there. That's fine. There's a bad guy there. Oh, never mind. They're all civilians. Uh, come on! Oh, there's a sniper. Shit, a recon drone. Dang it! That's not a that's not a sniper. Those are the RPG launcher dudes. They they kind of do. They basically look like mortars. Is what they look like. Heads up, aerial drone. Don't tell me there's no snipers here either. I'm seeing some of these guys, the close quarters, the breachers. Those guys are the guys with the shotguns. Why am I not seeing any? Why is it so difficult to find freaking snipers? What is the deal with that? Imagine if your office was in there. Imagine how insane that would be if your office was right there. All right, I'm not seeing any snipers. I mean, I got one. 
All right. Let's go to Rigel Residences next. And we don't have a car, so we're gonna have to just run it. It's not that far. I'm gonna check this one more place out, and if I still can't find some snipers, I'm gonna look online again. I'm gonna do a Google search again to see if I can find where somebody's done this mission and said, hey, here's a good place to go. Some of these you go like, well, there's you know, there's not really, this might be one of them where there really is no good place to find this. You just have to kind of go and, you know, find some snipers and whatnot, you know. Yoink, yoink. Oh, there it is. Flower. Yoink. All right, let's go over here. And you can shoot the animals here. And you get, um, I think it just says raw meat or something. I forget exactly what how it names it. Okay, here we go. Bad guy. Uh, look at that deer's going into their place. I'm seeing some bad guys, but I'm not seeing snipers yet. Dang it. Oh, hey, there's a thing over there. Yeah, I'm not seeing snipers here either, you guys. I'm seeing lots of bad guys, and, you know, that's cool to take out some bad guys, and... Sure, but I'm not seeing any snipers. <sighs> Alright, pause for a moment. Uh, break point, sharp, shooter, level 17. Alright, here we go. Uh... Oh wait, here's uh, I think I need to look up level 16. Like, to get to level 17, here's what you need to do. Uh, mm, this is rank eight playthrough. You know what, let me do tools and let's do past month. Here we go, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, what's the best spot? What's the trick? <laughs> this person says, my crystal ball is really foggy. What base or AO? What weapon and scope? This person says, he's been trying Smuggler's Cove. Uh, Oh, this person says that he's he's been having pro trouble with it. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, this says Pathfinder is a fun class, calling an airstrike, but you do have to. Let's just do view all comments and see. Okay, here, we, well, no, this is Outpost Green Viper. That's the one I was trying earlier. There are four type towers, but. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, that's not bad. Let's look at this entire discussion. Mm. The problem is when you when you look at these forums and look at the discussions, 
half of it is people being smart asses, and the other half is people being dumb asses. And so you go, well, that doesn't help. Um, and then even this person is saying, like, oh, yeah, Pathfinder's fun because you can call in an airstrike. It's like, well, but that doesn't work if you're trying to do sharpshooter. You can't switch to Pathfinder and get a thing for, it doesn't work. Um, Outpost Green Viper. That's here. This person was saying, get up into the tower with one of the snipers. He'll see you and alert everyone, but then you can just shoot the other. You can kill him and then shoot one of the other ones. That's the stuff. That worked. In the face. Shot him in the face. Let's go grab what he dropped here. All right, is this one of the electric motorcycles? I think it is. You guys ready? We're gonna do one of the electric motorcycles. Take the ride. I'll cool thing is, listen. It's totally quiet, right? Ah, which is cool, but if you really put on the accelerator you really go fast really fast like you go really fast really quickly well oh, don't go that way well I mean actually I do want to go that way but so this is the part that for me that is difficult because it's very squirrely but I think part of the reason it's squirrely is not because it's electric I mean I guess that's part of it right but the biggest thing is just the control part of it. I mean, I'm trying to like turn and I can't hardly turn properly. Ugh, get off the bike. Just get off the bike. Die, motorcycle. You suck. <laughs> I hate that motorcycle. They're cool because they're electric and they're very, um, what's the word? Uh, torquey is what I always, I've always heard about electric, um, uh, cars and whatnot is that they're very torquey right like zero to 60 in two seconds or something ridiculous right um but in this game they really suck well the cars are pretty cool but the motorcycles are kind of ridiculous all right so here's the thing this person on this on this thing is talking about climbing up into one of the towers, killing the sniper, and then taking out a second sniper. Okay, that's great, but getting into that first tower is going to be difficult. Because you don't want to be seen until you climb up into the tower. I think this one might be less defended. Well, hmm. Probably doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to try to get in right here. Let's go around this way. Switch to the other weapon here. And try to go around where he won't see us. And I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need my cutters. Come on. Ugh, come on. There we go. Acting weird on me. So here, instead of uh, actually, you know what? Let's do it instead of this one. Let's do my cutters. My torch. Because we're gonna go right over here. Mm -hmm and try to go in right here more or less under this guy the 
breach torch thing is pretty cool. I don't use it hardly at all, but I have to admit it is kind of cool. Let's try it. They were saying like this guy will see you and then you can shoot him. Jeez Louise, that's ridiculously hard. Alright. Now. Okay, hang on. <laughs> uh, God, that's stupid difficult. Like, it should not be that hard, but it is. Alright. Kill two enemies with two different weapons from more than 150 meters in less than, or in 10 seconds. Seriously? <sighs> okay. And then I gotta quickly get one kill with CQC and then with Sniper. Wait a minute. Come on, you guys. You want me to get a CQC kill, SNR, and then a DMR. Well, actually, you know what? I might be able to get that one right now because there's a bunch of bad guys on me. So let's switch from my Coblin to uh, this DMR here. There's a shithead over there. I see one there. We got mortars coming. Just kill me alone. I'm actually wanting a bunch of these guys on me because I need to kill them in 10 seconds. I'm not going to take out bad guys here. Get this one kill with CQC, one with a sniper, and then one with the DMR. Like the two different firearms in more than 150, that one's not too bad. I wonder, it says get one kill. Thank you. I wonder if that counts 
if you sink shot. No, I guess not because no, it's not going to count for sink shot. Never mind. Because it says you have to do it with the rifle and stuff. So, yeah, it's, that's not going to work. This DMR rifle is pretty cool, though. Um, and then I got to kill ten enemies. Oh my god, how am I supposed to do this? So, to kill two enemies with two different firearms. From more than 150 meters. Well, now that's not too difficult because I can just use a, these two that I have right now a DMR and a sniper but that bottom one uh, let me see if I can find a, a place that shows online where, where the best place is to get that one um, break point quickly get one kill with CQC one with an SNR and one with a DMR. Oh boy, here we go. All right. This says, uh, I melee took down two enemies with like five seconds using SNR and then switched to DMR, but challenge didn't complete. Um, Uh, yeah, right, right, okay. Well, continue this thread. See, the problem with this stupid, this it, it's on Reddit. I think that's the problem. The problem is you look at Reddit, you go, okay, yeah, let me see what this shows. And then you go like, a whole bunch of these other posts are just like dumb. Like this is just somebody posting like a photo of their character and you're like well that doesn't help that's not what I'm looking for um, uh, some of the comments are really great though um, okay here we go here's somebody saying one CQC one sniper one DMR Oh, that's a good idea. He actually grabbed a dude. <laughs> he grabbed a dude, because that counts as CQC, right? Although that knocks him out, that doesn't kill him. Let's see, hang on. I'm looking to see what this guy does. Because this looks like this might be the way to go. But if you grab a guy and you knock him out, I don't think that counts as CQC. I think you have to like do the knife thing, right? Uh, if this is the way to go though this is a really smart thing to do because you go wham knock the guy out boom well actually I do boom I mean boom and then take the other guy boom right it looks like what this guy's going to do how long is this video okay here we go he's going to be doing like the next 20 seconds here boom okay and then snipe boom and then swap Boom. Ah, yeah, that ha that worked. Okay. So there you go. That's that's the way you do this one is you grab a dude and then uh, take out a couple dudes. So let's go. I really only need three bad guys. Where's let's see what's over here at this abandoned site here. We grab some of these items here just for the heck of it. And some of these items, yeah. It's from the drone. Ah! These chipsets and stuff I probably don't need for anything. Explosive device. I mean, 
they are useful for something, but I don't really need them is my point. Come on, can I not get up? There we go. Can I get up over? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let me go over here. That's that's genius though, to grab a dude and then you can drag him around with you until you find two bad guys that you can easily take out with the sniper and the DMR. That's genius. Okay, there's no bad guys here, but there is a case. We'll grab the case. Yeah. Again, it's not going to have anything um, unique in it, but it's like an extra 350 credit or whatever. Okay, so that didn't have any bad guys at all. Um, let's go over here next. And we'll go through this area too. So we're going to go directly east. Um, I don't think there's going to be... Because like I say, I need at least three bad guys. One of whom I can grab. I gotta just keep in mind that I have a DMR. What I'm what I'm using right now is not um, just a simple assault rifle. If you want to call assault rifle simple, in other words, I can't go pew 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 pew. It won't just like it's not an automatic rifle. Okay, uh, there's the base that I'm going to. Yeah, all I need is one dude that I can grab and then two other bad guys that are somewhat close by. Okay. There's some bad guys here. There's two bad guys right there I can grab. Oh shoot, there's a bunch of bad guys here. I think I can grab this dude though. Thing is, there's actually too many bad guys through here, really. Hey Zoe, what's going on? Zoe, check this out. Okay, so I'm now sharpshooter level 17. But look at the stuff I have to do to get to sharpshooter level 18. Kill 10 enemies in less than 40 seconds. That actually isn't too bad because it doesn't say I have to shoot them. So I can hit them with like grenades or whatever, right? So that's not, that's not too, too terrible. But then the second one says kill two enemies with two different firearms from more than 150 meters in 10 seconds. That's going to be a little difficult, but it's any two bad guys. So it's not, it's not impossible. That's not too, too terrible. It's harder, but not too bad. That third one is going to be insane. Get one kill. And it doesn't say a time limit on this third one. It just says quickly. Kill one guy with CQC, one with SNR or sniper, and then one with a DMR in any order. That means you gotta like knife a dude, shoot a dude, switch, shoot a dude, in any order. It doesn't say how quickly, it just says quickly. Now I did look online because I was like, I wonder what's the best way to do this? It actually showed a guy who grabbed one dude, because you can grab a guy and like hold on to him and interrogate him or whatever, right? Grab a dude, knock him out, boom, boom. So that's 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 my plan. Yeah, it says quickly. It doesn't give you an actual time limit, which is kind of good in a way. So this is my plan. I'm going to grab a dude, drag him around until I can find another dude or two dudes to, to take out, and then try to do this thing in, well, not in a time limit, like I say, but it's going to be quickly. I know, man. Thanks. Reload. So I've already got my sniper rifle and my DMR rifle. I just gotta grab a dude and then drag him around with me until I get in to uh, 
where I got a couple more dudes I can shoot. Here, there's probably, there's actually quite a few dudes here. Oop, don't let them see me though. How about you just stay alert? It's quiet over here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's killing me too. All right, I think I'm gonna grab that dude right there. This place is, uh, it's dead. It's quiet by me too. I heard the RTO talking to someone last night, and it sounds like their material could get blown down over time. Yeah, I'm putting in I don't like transfer. This sucks. So what? You get paid the same either way. Plenty of bad guys running around here. But, uh, the jobs before, but this shit, you want to shut up? Shit, I'm up. Grab. Shit, open fire. I'm taking cover. Contact. Stay focused. Drop those hot. I'll bring you out. Alright, here we go. We're gonna try it. Shoot. That's one. Damn it! I hope you don't mind blood for this game. Yeah, see, the problem is here. At least in this area where I'm at right now, there's too many bad guys. I need to grab a guy where there's nobody else can see me yet. Good to go, boss. Thanks. Got him. There, let her rip. <sighs> see, now the problem is that I don't want these guys to see me. Let me grab this jackass here. I got these assholes. Got him. You got nothing. Shut up. Alright, now we just need. Two more bad guys. One. There's one right there, the yellow little no, that's that's my dude I got. Don't tell me there's no more bad guys here. There's no more freaking bad guys here. Dang it. Uh oh yeah, no, I didn't win the computer, Zoe. Did you did you you probably didn't watch the VOD, but poor Scott, like he's such a great guy, but he ended up having the person he pulled the name for for the computer ended up being like a bot so he had to do it again because the guy who whose name he pulled wasn't responding to Scott's private message on Twitch so he ended up going okay well you know like for the other prizes it was okay if the person didn't respond right away that was okay uh, but for the computer, he was like, you need to respond right away, you guys. You can't just, you know, you can't just enter this thing and then not say anything, which is what was happening. So <laughs> he ended up having to go, okay, that, that first person, out. He had to, he had to, he had to uh, pull a second name. And even the second name, the guy didn't respond right away. And he ended up having to verify that the guy was a guy... Um, yeah, he was saying he was going to do it differently next time. I think the way he might have to do it is... I don't know. The problem was having everybody in chat. And he had everybody just say... Uh, doghouse, I think, was the key word. And then he did a random pull from everybody who said doghouse... Uh, I think he needs to do it not through Twitch. He should do it a different way. I, I don't know how exactly, but yeah, he was having some problems with that. Um, my only, like, not really problem, but my only thing about it was that, um, yeah, and then he did have, he did have i was there, uh, and he had, um, I think Wicked Kid was in there. And maybe a couple other mods were there. So they were able to help him somewhat. Uh, and yeah, I don't know how you would avoid the bots. The only way you could do it is if... Um, he could do it where it's a stream for 
uh, people who are subscribe subscribers only, he could do it that way. But specifically for this time, he didn't want to have it be, hey, just, you know, you have to follow me. You have to subscribe to me. That's the only way you can win. He didn't want it to be like that. So, yeah, that was the only bad thing was he had to deal with people who were bots or whatever. Um, and even so, I kind of felt like I would have much preferred to see somebody from the from the tadpool win because it seemed like most everybody who won were people who were just like they had only just found his stream that day and so that kind of eh, that kind of sucked a little bit i kind of wanted to see people win who were you know people from the tadpool that we know you know uh it was set to followers only yeah that was the problem um you could only do emotes for 10 minutes. Yeah, that was the thing. It was like he wanted to change it, and, and Icor helped him with that. Oh, here we go. I want to go over here to this guy. There should be at least two dudes over here. Yeah, that was Icor helped him fix that right away, so that was cool. But, uh, yeah, that was my only thing. Is I, I kind of would have liked to have seen people from, like, we would have known from the chat room win, you know? But, I mean, that's the idea is that he was able to maybe pick up some new followers and stuff like that, so that was okay. Um, and he had over a thousand people. The thing that's crazy, though, so here's the thing. Let me pause for a moment. This is the thing that's crazy. I'm going to put this link in the chat real quick. Uh, I think you were here when I was talking about this. Check this girl out here. Little Simsy. She, she plays mostly Sims 4. Which I love that. Oh, and by the way, I've got a. Uh, I'm going to show you this, Zoe. Here, I'm going to send you a link. But this link is uh, a link that's not public. So I'm going to send it to you through private message here. Uh, or through Whisper, whatever. Uh, I'm going to send you a link for YouTube. That's my Sims 4 house that I've been working on. And it's basically my house. So if you ever want to know what my house looks like, what I just sent you, YouTube video, that's what my house looks like. Um, I, 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 be, I took some, I recorded a video today of my house because I was like, I was wanting to show my folks, I was wanting to show my parents to say, show them the Sims game. Anyway, this girl that I sent you that link for, her Twitch channel, I found some Sims 4 videos and she's really funny and I was like, oh, this would be cool. And I said, oh, she does Twitch videos. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm going to follow her on Twitch. Right now she has 2.6, well, it says 2.6 thousand. So she has 2,600 viewers on her channel right now. It's crazy. Normally she has around 4,000. I mean, I thought Scott was pretty popular with, you know, he'll have like 500 people in his channel. She's got a lot. So that's really kind of crazy. And also, yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. Her channel was always in slow mode. Um... I thought even uh, Felicia Day had a lot of people in her channel. No, not really. Not when you compare them. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Wham. Wham. Got it. Boom. Done. Done and done. That worked perfectly. Whoa. Ooh, let's see. Let's see how well this DMR works. Stay covered. They're on alert. Problem with the DMR? Look. Took two shots to kill him. Two shots to kill him. Where did the third dude go? Oh, there he is takes two shots to kill these bad guys. That's not so great. There we go. I finally did it right. There we go. That's what the um, the parachuting thing is supposed to look like. Yeah, the DMR rifle is pretty cool, but it takes two shots. Unless you go dead. There we go. 
The DMR is cool because you can fire quickly. You can fire multiple rounds quickly, but it doesn't do as much damage as a sniper rifle. There we go. So the DMR is actually pretty cool. I like it, but it just doesn't do much damage. Uh-oh. Drone overhead. Pro camel. Wait a minute. I got to put the thing for pro camel. Pro camel. There's the Azrael drone. All right, we should be good now. Any of this stuff I can grab? No? Okay. Kill two enemies with two different firearms from more than 150 meters. That's not too bad. It's not too, too difficult. Um, but dang. Whew. Hundred fifty meters. Oh, you know what I just realized? Those bad guys that I killed from up there, I could have if it was hundred and fifty meters, I probably could have taken them out with it oh man. Alright, let's go over here. Cause we really only need a group of two bad guys. Is all we need. So let's oh wait, here we go. There's some red splotches. Ooh, there we go. See look. That's all we need is two bad guys. And we only need to be 150 meters away, so that's not actually that bad at all. How far are we now? 180? Let's get a little bit closer. All right, we're at 168. So, wham. Good kill. They have us. Ooh, that counted. Yes! Okay, we need to do it one more time, and we've got that done. There we go. Take those drones out real quick. Okay. Now we just need two more bad guys. And then the big thing is going to be the 10 enemies in 40 seconds. Um, which won't be too easy, but won't be that difficult because it doesn't say I have to use a certain weapon. So basically, uh, it actually doesn't say I even have to use a, a, a firearm at all. Alright. 140... So we need to be 150, so let's go over here. How about from right here? Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's go sniper, then the other one. Keep doing that. Dang it, that didn't count. Nope, that didn't count. Okay, we gotta find another group of two. This game is so great. It's such a uh, simple idea, I guess. I don't know what it is about this game. It's like I would rather play... I was saying this earlier when I first started streaming, Zoe, that I would rather play this game than play Valhalla. Valhalla is a brand new game that I just picked up. Okay. 150 meters. That counted. Got him. Okay, now we just gotta kill 10 in less than 40 seconds. Um, and it doesn't say I have to shoot them. So I don't know. Yeah, it does have some realistic detail. I don't think that the gameplay is necessarily the part that's realistic, but I think that the graphics and stuff, like look at how the water looks. Um, to me, that's the part that's more realistic. Because um, I've, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos where it was like um, like actual Marines reviewing Breakpoint. And the Marines are like, yeah, no, it wouldn't happen like that. No, you wouldn't do it that way. No, that doesn't really happen. That's not real. And, you know, like that kind of stuff. But it's like, I look at the graphic-wise, though, I think that's the part that's more realistic. Um... See, I can shoot and see it had an item. I don't condone shooting wildlife for no reason, but animal protein, yay! 
So you can use that to make some of your rash of your rations. Uh, okay, so now we gotta go to Smuggler's Co Cove Province. Yeah, you can do bacon. Uh, okay, where is Smuggler's Cove? Uh, that's Finbog, Smuggler's Cove. Here we go. So let's go fast travel here. And I'm probably gonna jump out in just a second here, Zoe, because uh, me and Richard and Claire are gonna play some uh, Overcooked 2, which looks like. Let me show you a quick video. Uh, actually, I don't need to show it. Let me see. Um, okay, here's gameplay. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. This, this, here we go. There's a tra there's a not a trailer but a, some gameplay of um, Overcooked 2. It's such a cute little game, and you have these chef you you play as these little chefs, and you have to like either prepare stuff or cook stuff or whatever, and then you plate it and then you take it and put it to the pass, and it's just such a fun little silly cute game. It's so much fun. Me and Claire played it two weeks ago, because Richard already had it but he couldn't play. He was, he was, he hurt his hand, but then all three of us played last weekend. That game is crazy fun. It's so cute and it's, it's just awesome. Eyes on a ground drone. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and switch out this one for my Coblin. The Coblin does way better against drones. It does 30% extra damage to drones. So, Moving to engage. Let me get in position. oops, so we got both of those dudes, right, ready to go. That's it. Got it. Boom. In one, less than one magazine, it took me to take those guys out, or to take this drone out. That's pretty good. Grab their stuff that they dropped. Yoink, yoink. Nothing. Oh, I love that sound that it makes when it hits the bad guys. That thump sort of sound. It's kind of, it's very satisfying. It's so satisfying that noise. Hostile bird coming in. Get low. Yeah, right. Zoe done overcooked too. Looked like so much fun. Uh, and Richard, uh, he was in the Coast Guard, and he was a, a chef in Coast Guard. I guess he was a cook in the Coast Guard. I don't know, whatever it was. And he, that's actually was his profession for a while. There, he did. Uh, he was a cook for a while. Um, again, or chef. I don't know exactly what. But anyway. So this kind of stuff, he's he's used to seeing, and he was telling me he's like, oh yeah, that's how it can be when you're in the kitchen. Like it gets crazy, um, but man, oh man, that game is so much fun. That's one of those ones um, that's really just perfect for um, for co-op. Uh, pardon me. All right, so let's see. Kill 10 enemies in Smuggler's Cove. Uh, and then look up the past week. Well, Okay, that's not working either. Dang it, I'm already getting notifications from my backyard camera. It's got, a, I need to go out there. It's got a piece of, um, 
spider web on the camera so it thinks it's seeing something here i'll show you this will do it's like there's a little bit of right there there's that little bit of thing there uh and so the camera keeps thinking that it's seeing something and it, it is not seeing something so i need to go out there and like move something all right um so i need to do breakpoint sharpshooter level 17. Uh, well, it doesn't look like people are asking for much help with regards to that. Uh, videos? I bet there's not going to be that many of them, though. Um, because this one's not that difficult. You just got to find 10 enemies. But that's the problem, right? Is where what you know where can you go to find 10 bad guys to take out all at once in 10 in 40 seconds actually i think i'm probably going to stop here i don't want to keep going because um rich and claire wanted to get on about 6 30 and it's about 6 30 now my time so let's go let's find a bivouac real quick oh well there's one right here there's one right here. Well, it looked like it was right here. Oh, yeah, pff, there it is. There we go. Yeah, that's cool, Zoe. Yeah, actually get some sleep maybe tonight. Uh, that might be a good idea. I might I might try to stream some more tomorrow because uh, I didn't stream yesterday evening because of the Scott stream. Um, and then tonight I'm not going to stream because we're going to be playing games uh, you know the three of us so yeah monkey bananas yeah i saw i saw you lurking monkey bananas but i didn't want to say anything because i always feel like hey i don't want to call somebody out when they're trying to you know trying to lurk and and you know and do their own thing um yeah i appreciate both of you guys stopping by and hanging out for a while um Let's see, and then I'll do one of these. There we go. And then I'll go to the shop and sell a bunch of crapola. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do some more uh, streaming tomorrow because um, I go back to work Monday, so I don't really have much time to stream during the week. But I'm gonna try to stream some more tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go to my folks' house. So I'll probably stream maybe once I get back from their house, so we'll see. Yeah, hopefully we can catch you tomorrow, Monkey Bananas. That'd be cool. Uh, let's see here. Is anybody else streaming? No, nobody that I follow anyway are streaming right now. Sell all these. I think that's it, right? Yeah. So now let's go. Do I need any items here? No. <laughs> buy that one and that one's the only ones we can buy okay frog pants bacon jk graham loot frog pants bacon yeah i will see you guys hopefully tomorrow as well um again thank you for stopping by and i'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream and thank you for anybody else who maybe came by and was just um lurking i appreciate that too i mean you know yeah come by and just hang out if you want to that'd be cool all right, I will catch you guys probably tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to hit this button here, and then that button there, and then there.